Welcome to my channel. I'm Tripp and in my videos, many of them I've mentioned how I used to play in, in top 40 rock bands from the time I was very young. Well, today I'm going to go through that history pretty fast because it takes up a lot of years. I did this in between high school, working on the farm, getting a, a bachelor's degree and then an MBA. And after I was working full time, I, there was a lot of music mixed in. I'll try to, I'll try to make sure these uh, views are as good as I can get them. But these pictures are very old and they're fading away. I feel like I'm fading away sometimes. So let me get started. This was the very first band when we were just, I was just learning to play. And this, this is from January of 19, I'm trying to get the focus just right. I don't know anything about editing, but I'll do the best I can with this. This is from January of 67. And three of those, three of the people there were in the next band. We added one and, and two of those left. This is the, the drummer's sister and brother-in-law. And we were really quite young when we started playing. And they were kind of the chaperones and actually they had to drive because we were really too young to drive. Those were lovely people and I miss them. This is the picture I just showed you there. This is my the classic lineup of the Blue Sensations four of us as you can see and there I am with my guitar kind of in the front Farfisa organ see that Farfisa organ the keyboard player is playing that's classic for that time and this is a, a picture from the, the the battle of the bands at the at an auditorium and there I am with my, that's a Fender Mustang that I was playing at the time. Here I am again. Darn, I hate that glare. So in this picture, I'm actually making a, a, a B minor with my fingers, with my hand. The name of the song I remember very well was Keep Me Hanging On by the Vanilla Fudge. And if, my, if you can't see my arm, it's a blur because I was raising it above my head and coming down and hitting the strings, just like Peter Townsend of The Who. It's, he called it bowling. It's like a bowling motion. So there I am. Pretty cool. 16 or maybe 17 years old. This was in 1968. March 1968. I think this might be the the same the same gig. There we are. There I am. We actually had a photographer who was a friend of ours. And we messed around sometimes with the uh, photography and and I had my hair fixed kind of like Jimi Hendrix. That didn't last very long. <laughs> no, Mama didn't like that. And this is the next band. We're playing outdoors at Jerry Lewis Telethon. That's while I was getting my MBA for two years. Look at those speakers. 
I think those were called golly horns. And there's my classic setup behind me. It's a, I think it's a Fender Bassman and a Super, no, it's a PV. Oh, and I was playing a, a Gibson, I can't remember, EBO or EB3 guitar. I'm trying to keep these pictures in order here. We took, this was in 1977, 78, 79. There we were getting ready to go somewhere. We went to somewhere else to play for a couple of weeks straight during the spring break of 78, I think it was. Here we are in the club playing. We played there for like two and a half years. We were the house band. Look at me there, I'm playing a, a, uh, a music man bass. And my, you can see my amplifiers, they were taller than, taller than I am. I love this picture, it's kind of cool to me, me singing there. Just kind of a, a promo picture, kind of a promo thing that we were doing. I'll cut these kind of quickly. They're fading away. I like this photograph. And I like this one. I think I was kind of posing there, not playing at all. Look at how tall my all my amplifiers were behind me. They literally were taller than, than I. You see I'm kind of hung up on amplifiers. Another crazy promo thing. Oh, that's cute. Uh, we were an arrogant bunch. <laughs> Wasn't I adorable? to say that, that uh, all the musicians I played with are still alive. Here's another band, this was maybe like 80, 81, 82. And playing guitar there, that's a Stratocaster. And here I am again, Stratocaster guitar. A close up of the of the Strat there, and my equipment there. And here, here's the last band I played in, 2003 to 2005. And when I left that band, I sold all of my equipment. I 
Here's a song list. I have song lists from every one of those bands. This one is from the Blue Sensations, the first one of the first uh, the first group I showed you from April of nineteen sixty nine. You probably can't see this see the song list from there very well. We did things by the Outsiders, Spencer Davis Group, uh, Sam and Dave. Uh, Otis Redding. Oh, who else? Love and Spoonful. Procol Harum. The Rascals. Beatles, of course. Vanilla Fudge. Mind. Uh, and American Breed. We did Sergeant Pepper and Little Help from My Friends. I think we were the only one of two bands I ever heard of do that. We also did A Day in the Life by the Beatles. I only saw one other band ever try to attempt that song. And there's some by uh, Jimi Hendrix, Hey Joe. Oh. The Cream, I'm So Glad, Sunshine of Your Love. We did Fire by Hendrix and Purple Haze by Hendrix. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little trip down memory lane. I apologize for the quality of the photos, and I tried to hold them as still as I could. But I, I talk about playing in a band several times, and I just wanted to offer a little bit of proof there, and hope you enjoyed that. I sure did, and I'll talk to you later.